Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Sorry, it's a problem on spring. So, it is out of place, but because it is a space force or 3D, 3D force so I'll discuss this here because in the future you will also encounter a problem on four systems in space and the force in spring is involved so the spring has a stiffness of 0.7 kN per meter and an unstretched length of 0.5 meter determine the force exerted by the spring on end C of the curve bar so it is just computing this force then after that we express this force in vector form rectangle according to its rectangular components so remember that the force in the spring is its stiffness times the displacement delta s where delta s is the final length of the spring minus the unstretched length or natural length of the spring the natural length of the spring is 0.5 meter the final length of the spring is computing the distance between a and c or c and a but before that let's solve for this height this is a right triangle vertical this is horizontal and the angle is given so tangent of 36.87 degrees is equal to h divided by 360 mm so h is equal to 270 mm so point c is lower than a and the direction of the force in the spring from c is leftward along y forward along x then upward along z the upward movement is 400 minus h which is 270 so 130 mm therefore the final length of the spring square by pythagora theorem is equal to along x forward 0.4 400 mm or 0.4 meter square let's make the unit meter along y 0.36 square then along z 400 mm minus h 270 so plus 1 Point thirteen square. Therefore, the final length of the spring is 0.5536 meter. Therefore, we can now compute the magnitude of the force in the spring, and it is equal to 700 newton per meter times delta S, which is final length of spring minus natural length of spring, which is 0.5. So the force in the spring is equal to 37.52 newtons and the distance AC is 0.5536 therefore expressing this force in vector form magnitude that's the force magnitude over distance 0.5536 quantity 0.4i negative 0.36j then positive 0.13k remember along x positive 0.4 i along y going to the negative y direction so negative 0.36 j then along z from c to a it's upward 400 minus 270 130 mm or 0.13 meter k okay. so simplifying f sub c is equal to 27.11 i minus 24.4 j plus 8.811 k newtons then for your part this is the problem the spring has a stiffness of 551 5571 newton per meter and an unstretched length of 410 mm determine the force exerted by the spring on end c of the curve bar and show that this is the answer that's for your part 